guardians of celery. Yeah. There's so many rocks at the bottom. I don't know if I can keep filming. Whenever I've told someone that I'm about to travel to Iran, their response has usually been like, isn't it dangerous? And honestly, that is the impression you're likely to have if you've been raised consuming Western media. Anyhow, in this vlog, I will not be showing you the incredible culture, the long history and the rich heritage that you see in the cities of Iran on every single step. I got to see that side of the country on my trip in 2019, but this time we're gonna go into the mountains. I'm gonna take you to the Zagros Mountains, one of the wildest ranges in the region. All right, ready for an adventure? Let's go. And finally, after four hours of driving on rough roads in the mountains, we have arrived in the village of Hoya, right here in this beautiful, beautiful valley. Apparently, this village is really famous for its handicrafts and culture. So let's see what we can find here. Let's go. We just got invited to one of the traditional homes here in the village to see how the ladies who live here make traditional handicrafts. But first, let's go inside and have a sip of water. It's an exceptionally hot day here in the mountains today. So rest is much needed. Let's go. I'm asking if uh, how many years old are these carpets? This one is 60 years old, that one is 30 years old. That one by her mother, but the, the ones outside by her. The family who lives here in this house specializes in making carpets, handmade carpets from natural materials and natural dyes. Whew, and I've just climbed the ladder onto a roof to join this lady, who's, I guess you call this spinning a yarn? You don't really use that phrase anymore these days, do you? Anyway, let's take a look. So what do we have here, Mohammed? It's, it's Georgim. Georgim. Yes, they what does made. That mean? I don't know what <laughs> it means, but they use it for blanket. For example, they put some. Uh, wool inside it and make a blanket. So this blanket here was made by Parvane over there. She's still spinning her yarn. Wow, just take a look at this beautiful, beautiful blanket. The colors here are so bright and vibrant. This honestly reminds me of a meadow filled with flowers out here in the mountains. Absolutely mesmerizing. <laughs> the second step of the weaving process Oh, we've got it here, just 10 meters away from step number one. Here is Mahnas, who is on the weaving machine and she is now processing the thread into what looks like it's going to be a coat. Not quite a carpet, but a coat. Anyway, it's all handmade. It's all manual work that takes a lot of time and a lot of skill. Man. 
This pattern is called go, which means cow. 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 It <laughs> yeah. doesn't look like a cow. Does it? No, it doesn't. And and these ones are horns. Uh, cow horns. Yes. A rather abstract cow with horns. Bye. Mm. No reposh. Any house in this village, if you go, there are lots of handicrafts, lots of products, but there are nobody to buy them. Check out the architecture of this village. The houses here are super, super traditional. They're all made out of stone and wood, and you can almost in all instances go up to the roof and admire the mountains from here. Amazing place. All right, this mission is complete. I got a couple of really beautiful traditional things here in the village and I'm gonna show you what I got at the end of this vlog. But in the meantime, our mission here in the mountains is not complete because we have just heard about a really special place somewhere on a mountain top over there where that's home to the guardians of celery. Yes, the guardians of celery, you heard that right. I am just as baffled and just as curious to see what that's all about. All right, we've got a four hour trek ahead of us, so let's go. Thank you. Nobody in Mali. Celery? Yes, yeah, celery! This apparently is wild celery. Celery. Oh my god. Yeah, celery. Just, if you've ever had celery from the supermarket, you'll know that most of the time it doesn't taste of much. But this mm, is spicy, pungent, flavorful, and tastes like the meadow. Supermarket Esfandiar. Esfandiar is our supermarket. Supermarket for celery. celery. <laughs> yes. So you mean 60 people are guarding for celeries around here? Uh, oh, Yeki. On, on the Yeki mountain, Six there are 13. The Bonhang. 12 people are guarding there. G. Ju, 12 Five. people there. And which one we are going to tonight? Logol. 10 people are there. My question is, why does the celery need guardians? It's just celery. This species is very scarce and in danger of extinction. And if they uh, use it in the wrong way, when it's not completely ripe, they gather it, it will not uh, grow the next year. Guys, this looks like a pretty big and relatively intimidating river, but these guys have crossed it, you know, <laughs> the villagers cross it every day, so we better take off our shoes and get swimming. Pretty deep, knee deep, <laughs> and cold. Oh, glacial, glacial water. Start the start the cold. There's so many rocks at the bottom. I don't know if I can keep filming. Okay, my camera's gonna hold my hand. Oh my god, I'm so worried about the camera falling. Oh, thank you, my sweet. That lady is killing it. And look at me, I can't even manage to get across half of the river. Okay. 
We've all made it across the river safely, but I'm completely soaked from my feet to my hips. Oh my God, I hope this, I hope it doesn't become too cold. That river was a little bit scary. I don't think I would have crossed it if I were on my own. No way. I guess I have a lot to learn about crossing rivers before reaching these guys' level of badassery. <laughs> Tende. Tende. Shari al go bottom kuhi. Yeah. Let's try. Bottom kuhi. Bottom yet chene chese di gas. Totally green inside. Sour, crunchy. I like it. Good. Wild garlic. Spicy. Here is another edible plant from the mountains? Karakui. Karakui. Spring onion. Mmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. Mm. My favorite so far. Mm. Slowly, slowly. No. <laughs> we have finally arrived after four hours of hiking through these mountains. Here we are. I'm exhausted. I wish I could just go to sleep. But I think we gotta go and say hello and taste some more celery from the mountain. <laughs> Is it really worth it to stay here all this time alone to cultivate the celery? Bale bale, daramat dole. Really good. Alhamdulillah. همینو میخوان زف بکنیم یک کل افزانو برا پشت در پشتمون بمونه برا اجدادمون بمونه اگه زفتشون نکنیم مواظبت ازشون نکنیم عبین میره مواظبت بکنیم که دوزدا نیان به شب مثلا بچینن ببرن از بین برن مواظبت میکنیم که همینطور پشت در پشت بمونه برا اولادمون you know, throughout the whole journey here, I mean, it took us three hours on a dirt track and then another four hours of trekking through the mountains, up and down. And I was wondering all the way through why these guys choose to stay here and cultivate wild celery. And the answer they just gave makes so much sense. If they don't do it, nobody else will. This is 
their sustainable way to make a living for the future generations and that's why they're here for months at a time. And this little hut is where the men stay, live, eat, sleep for months at a time. Let's go inside. We have some fresh mushrooms from the mountains of Zagros, center of the country. We have got a beautiful mushroom omelette cooking here for dinner with mushrooms freshly picked from the forest and also some herbs from the mountains here that grow wild. This is going to be delicious. We are both in the same same place. We are both in the same place. I'm inviting every single one of these gentlemen to join us and having dinner. But they say, no, you are our guest. We apologize. Uh, we are not equipped enough here to uh, offer you something more. And we're not going to join you because that's yours, not ours. And we already had our uh, dinner. So, but, so they won't be joining us for dinner? No, it seems they are not going to join us. Seems them not. Seems like not. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. 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 They are offering us the local okay. duk, and we are going to have our dinner there outside. That's the show. That's not going to be very popular. Very popular. We had a bit of an argument here just now, but it wasn't over a conflict or anything like that. We invited these guys who are our hosts to join us for dinner to taste some of our mushroom omelettes, but they refused. We asked them again, they refused again. We asked them again, they refused again. So this is part of the Iranian hospitality. <laughs> First bite. Mm. It's so good. Ah, Delicious. Oh my gosh. The mushrooms are so fresh and the herbs just add this mm, beautiful taste and flavor of the mountains. Mm, amazing. That could be a unit task. That was an incredible adventure out in the mountains of Iran and at the beginning of the vlog I promised you guys that I would show you the things that I got in the village of Hoya. So here are the two 
rugs I bought and guess what I put them up for sale on my Instagram page and all the proceeds from the sales went to local community development projects managed by Iran Nomad Tour so two three lessons in there a Persian rugs are absolutely gorgeous two Iran Nomad Tours are doing really amazing stuff and you should absolutely check them out and three definitely follow me on my Instagram for more regular updates from all of my adventures all right and I'll see you in my next adventure. Mwah! <laughs>